doctor what should i be doing if there are no sperm in the ejaculate so it's azoospermia it means when there are no sperm seen on a semen analysis on a semen testing so if it's due to obstruction when there is a blockage then one of the option is that you see where the blockage is and do the corrective procedure for it but these days with the advent of the ivf and especially the icsi procedure that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection which needs only one sperm to be injected into an egg so the number of sperms required is very less with the icsi procedure so these patients the best option is to go for ivf icsi treatment so we take the sperms out directly from the testis so we put a needle into the testis after putting the patient under anesthesia so that there is no pain and then we take the sperms out and do the ivf icsi procedure the second variety that is non-obstructive azoospermia and this is a little more complicated one because in this what happens is that there is no blockage but the production is less so it is not able to come out so what we need to do is firstly we need to try to increase the production of the sperm so we evaluate them we do the test we examine them we do the blood testing to see whether there is any specific reason why there are no sperms and uh, basically need to do certain chromosomal testing as well because there are certain patients who have some chromosomal problems and we need to detect them right at the start because some of these issues actually they never respond to treatment and there is no option but to either go for a donor sperm or to adopt a baby and how exactly do we get the sperms that is again a surgical process procedure in, in many of them we uh, take the sperms directly from the testis so that is either by a TSA procedure that is when we putting a needle or a TSA procedure or micro TSA which are little more advanced form of surgeries which we do thank you very much